with sustainability, what you're trying to do is to leave the planet in a better shape than you found it and to make sure that our future generations will be able to enjoy the same kind of things that we enjoy. It really is a partnership, and it's a partnership from all over the university. Uh, we are able to draw on faculty who are committed to the value of sustainability, whether they are in biology or physics or law or divinity. They all bring a particular lens, and that's really the strength of the program. One of the great things about Wake Forest is that we work across these disciplines, and that just gives you new tools to solve sustainability problems. So in my research, I uh, am a tropical ecologist. I work in the Western Amazon Basin in Andes. I became interested in the problem of gold mining uh, because I grew up in that part of the Amazon Basin. I went down to Peru and went down to Madre de Dios for the first time in 1990. I was 23 years old, straight out of undergrad, and I've spent three to six months of every year of my adult life down there. And what I see now in Madre de Dios, particularly after 2007, is that we're looking at a landscape that's being taken apart. The number one source of mercury going into our environment is from artisanal scale gold mining. About 35 to 40 percent of the mercury that goes into the environment every year comes from that source. Within that, Madre de Dios, Peru is one of the largest sources, and with the new estimate, it wouldn't surprise me if it wasn't the single largest source. When you look at mined landscapes in Madre de Dios, they look like the moon. It's been compared to taking the forest and turning it into desert, but it's not just a desert, it's a poison desert. It becomes something different than anything that's existed before. So one of the questions is, what can grow on there, and how can you grow anything on there? What we've built in Madre de Dios is a Center for Scientific Innovation, or the Spanish acronym CENCIA. We're not out to push one agenda, we're out to study and we're doing things that make people who live there life better at a large scale. So when we think about reforestation, what we want to do is work with people to understand the kinds of challenges they have in their municipalities, in their landscape, in whatever kind of degraded area, and then work with them almost like agricultural extension in order to make what they do better. We are, in fact, part of one world. And Miles' work helps make that point in ways that are just almost impossible to describe. Looks like it works. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Not only yeah. what happens in the Winston-Salem area or North Carolina is important, but what's happening in other parts of the world are important as well. When we think about making a, a student, when we think about someone who wants to carry this out into the field, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but the other thing you have to be is you have to be effective. What we're really trying to do is to train them to be leaders in sustainability, that leadership means many things, and equip them with strategies that will help them be successful as they take that mission on.